talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! Beautiful both in here. I had the camera off because it's been raining. I'm fishing for bluegill and red ears again in Warmouth. When we talk about a beautiful both in it, has the green fins. Absolutely gorgeous. It's not a big guy, but it's really pretty. Wow, it's even got the orange, it's got the orange spot on its tail. Cool. What a cool little guy. Alright, I'm just gonna film him like this. Little bowfin. Pretty neat. It is one of them days where it just sprinkles the whole day. I'm not able to wear my camera while I fish. I got it over here at the picnic table. I'm at a new location that I'm not going to disclose. Uh, I caught my first fish within one minute, a uh, little bitty largemouth. The reason I am here is because my friend took his four-year-old son here, and he was able to pull out an 18-inch hog white crappie out of here, and a 16, and I believe he said nine crappie that were 15 inches and bigger. So if that don't tempt a person to come here, I don't know what will. So anyway, I got a fish just in the first couple minutes, a good sign. It's a big old 11 acre lake. I will just say it's in the state of Missouri and that's all you need to know. Alright, well I'm going to get back out there. Fish number one. Alright, Will's on a crappie and I just had one. Yeah. side of it on the back side. They're known for that. I finally connected folks. Uh, it feels pretty decent whatever this is. It's a bluegill. Hey. <clears throat> they fight harder than crappie, that's why. Not big enough to keep, but it is you are right, you go, you'll catch bluegill on those jigs. All right, folks, I got my first panfish of the day. Yeah, that ain't bad. Yeah. <laughs> he jumped up at the top for this thing. All right, folks, well, I got my first crappie. It's a six inch black, seven inch, ouch! Oh, seven inch black. Calm down, you're gonna get back. I'm not gonna keep you. And this is those damn Bobby Garlands that just tear up so easy. I was finally able to turn the camera back on. I got a my second black crappie with a floating jig method. 
I just pull it, twitch it, whatever I gotta do to get one. I finally got one that's worth keeping. Now if this rain can just quit, I think we'll do all right. I got it set about 24 inches. It's probably about 24 inches deep. Black. About almost eight inches, maybe seven. Yeah, he's eight. Eight inches. Not a bad guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fish for crappie now, and then I got some. I'm gonna try for warm mouth and red, uh, bluegill later on. <coughs> Oh my gosh, he's got a giant, guys. There we go. Man, that's a nice one. I like them colors. You're gonna have to hold that up for us. Will got the first nice fish in the day. He's probably 12. Real pretty white crappie, though. Oh yeah, what a beaut. Cool. <laughs> Right after I got hung up, so I guess you're right, you didn't scare them. What you need is, if I was on the back side of that thing, out in a boat. Yeah, could have, could have pulled seven or eight of them out of there. Right by the bank. There he is. There we go. All right, I just got another crappie, folks. Nice, colorful one. Finally. Nothing like yours, but he's eight. Got copy number three for me. Nice little light. <clears throat> and get a half decent large mouth out of here on the pole saw swim bait. Clear, clear light. I thought I had a big old slab copy though, unfortunately. But he's not a bad little bass. Will done went home. I got so cold I sat in the car for a while while she fished. And I uh, haven't even been trying. It's just so cold, miserable out there. Uh Alright folks, I made a ball pit. Been here before last year once. I need to get it more in the tent. About a half mile long. I'm on a gigantic rock where I need to set the end spot. Uh, on the edge and trying with minnow and bobber first. Oh, I had a bite. Already. And I uh, also got one for the Memphis minnow company. Time for coffee, ready or baby or warmer. It's just enough that it won't stay in place very long. Well. I got three holes I'm going to throw out of mine. I got two so far. And the other nuisance today is cottonwood for these guys. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Or you couldn't even throw a lure. And the cotton's getting all over the line. It's almost making it really difficult. There we go. Come on, take it, take it. Hey, got him. All right, a big bluegill. Yes. Wow. On a minnow, guys. Man, I already like this place already. If the bluegill are this big, big old fat male. Really beautiful.
gorgeous bluegill. I already like this place. This is going to be one of my new go-to places because it's really close to home. Ouch, ow, ow. And uh, really convenient to come here. He's got something wrong with him. Some kind of defect. He's got a part of his back missing. Really weird looking. Just a big chunk missing out of him. Nice bluegill nonetheless. Not keeping any fish today. That's a beauty. Except for the chunk missing out of him. <laughs> Fish in the first three minutes. As soon as I set the pole down, he started playing again. Isn't that something? Oh, there's a big old bowfin right in front of me. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see it, but he's swimming right below me. I knew they were in here. There he went. He took off quick when he seen me. Oh, oh, big bluegill again, oh yeah, giant, my goodness, what a fighter, whoa, <laughs> biggest bluegill of the year right here guys, without a doubt, oh this is, yeah, I haven't got one this big in a long time. Goodness. I don't understand how they're hitting minnows and not worms. Guys, that is an absolute giant. Blue you I had to cut the line. There was no hope on getting it. Wow. That thing with that feather light rod was one hell of a fight, guys. Awesome. Beautiful bluegill. Slaughtered mills and won't touch a worm. Never seen nothing like that. Usually they'll hit worms too. And I think I got a bite on the other. Oh, maybe, maybe, just maybe. That's a nice bluegill, guys. We're going to get her back in. What a beauty. I'm gonna try one out a little deeper. See if I can get something different like a crappie. I think with the cold front that went through yesterday, they may be out further. That's definitely a fish. I would think. It's 
So is that. Whoa. Got him. Oh, it's big. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a big, large mouth. Oh my God, I gotta get the net. It's a three or four pounder. Whoa. Holy crap. I did not expect this, guys. Now I know there's big bass in here. Oh, I gotta get the net. Oh, I gotta get the net. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yes. Oh yeah. What a large mouth. This is my new spot, guys. On four pound line. Wow. Look at that hoss. Good three pounder. Yes. Oh man. I'm lucky you didn't break my four pound line. Goodness gracious. Father Minnow. Nice. They've laid me worth it right there. It's a nice bass. About 16 inches. Two and a half pounds, I think three, but it's nice. Wow. Miss that opportunity. My goodness. Oh, another bass. God, I just looked over and seen my bobber completely under again. Boy. <laughs> Folks, I wouldn't have been paying attention. I would have had a clue and I would have wondered why there was no minnow on that. Goodness, great. Not as big as the last guy. About three quarters of a pound. Holy crap! Mm. Crappie, nice one. My, once again, my bobber was completely under. <laughs> oh, it broke. Oh, it fell off, man. Oh, I didn't get to keep him or hold him for you guys. My goodness, that's some bad luck. It fell off right when I was about to put my hand on his mouth. Good God. Bitty. A 
black, or the parents of gold, we will be the guys.